What do you think when you hear people calling for gender quotas for senior leadership positions in business and government? What's your reaction when you come across parents campaigning against the marketing of separate boy toys and girl toys? What's your response to efforts to even out the numbers of men and women in science, technology, engineering and mathematical careers? A common concern is that these egalitarian aspirations are misguided. What if men just naturally prefer higher status, riskier jobs? What if boys and girls just naturally prefer to play with different kinds of toys and grow up to be interested in different kinds of occupations? After all, haven't males and females evolved to be different? What about all that male testosterone? Shouldn't we just accept that our brains and natures have been differently shaped by evolutionary pressures in our ancestral past? I'm Cordelia Fine, the author of Testosterone Rex, Unmaking the Myths of Our Gendered Minds, and this is the Testosterone Rex View, that familiar, pervasive and powerful story of sex and society. Weaving together interlinked claims about evolution, brains, hormones and behaviour, it offers a neat and compelling account of our society's persistent and seemingly intractable sex inequalities. Denying testosterone wrecks can seem tantamount to denying biology and evolution. But dig a little deeper into the science and you'll find that rejecting the testosterone rex view doesn't require denial of evolution, of biology or difference at all. In the evolution of the science of sex, which has seen important advances in evolutionary biology, neuro and behavioural science, endocrinology and philosophy of biology, testosterone rex has become extinct. It misrepresents our past, present and future. It misdirects scientific research and it reinforces an unequal status quo. It's time to say goodbye and move on.